Hey guys, remember this place? <laughs> yeah, you may remember this from being Spirit Halloween here this season in 2021, but guess what it is now? Christmas tree shops. <laughs> the Christmas tree shops. Now, this isn't a full line store, obviously, as it's in the old Pier 1 here at the Waterworks Shopping Center. Um, I'm just imagining that this is just a pop-up seasonal store, but I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw it. Kayla, who's sitting in the bee friend, which we took out here, actually spotted it first when I was doing a train video right across the street. And I'm just blown away. We got a Christmas tree shop here in Pittsburgh. And obviously, you know darn well I'm going in there and doing a video. So what are we waiting for? Let's go in there, check this place out. It, it's so weird, though, that it was a spirit a month ago, and now it's a Christmas store. <laughs> All right, let's go in. Let's do it. That is awesome. And Kayla's on the phone right now, so she'll join me here in just a moment. But what in the hell? <laughs> and that was the door we went through last time, but now we got to go through this one. Let's do it. You. You're welcome. Look at this place. This is awesome. Look at this, all just, just coming through the front door. All the Christmas goodies they have. Wow. And the bee friend looking good out there. Look at all the wrapping paper they have. Oh my god, this is like a dream come true. Look at that. All the little bells. Santa riding a bicycle. That's a motorcycle, not a bicycle. Excuse me, I'm sorry to all my Harley friends. Look how cool that is. I'll be honest with you, I kind of want to apply here just to do a part-time job, not because I need the money, but just because it would be fun to do. You know how much I love Christmas. Even if it's just a couple of nights a week, you know, because I work my full-time job, this would be fun. Look, they got candy canes here, $7.99 for a four-pack. They got the Charlie Brown Christmas tree, all kinds of Christmas tree toppers. They have the snowflake lights, the wreaths stockings oh my god this store's so awesome oh my goodness oh my god i'm in heaven right now <laughs> solar holiday lights i know my aunt would like those oh my god this store is amazing sorry i'm like a broken record i'm just so excited to go from halloween to christmas in here is so unique this is the first time i've ever seen this here I definitely don't recall them doing this last year. Look at all the doormats. Oh, my God. I just said in another video that I filmed, which you haven't seen yet, because I wanted to get this one up immediately, that I actually decided I'm going to get a Christmas doormat because the one I had had uh, so many stains on it from, like, mud and from, like, rock salt, you know, from us tracking all that into the house that I tried to wash it and it didn't come out. So I was just going to throw it away and get a new one. But, oh, my God. What do we got going on? Tis the season. Wow, they have so many. Just not a fan of some of these. The ones I've seen at Boscov's were pretty cool, though. But it's early. Maybe they'll have more. Look at the sweaters. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. That's awesome. They have a Snoopy one. Oh, my God. I love this. Look at these doormats. Peppermint and Pine. That's the company name, I guess. That's cool. Wow. They have a Santa suit. Oh my God, this place is awesome. Look at the towels. I'm definitely gonna be spending some money here. Drying mats for the dishes. Oh, I like the one with the lights. My God, I really do feel like a child again. I'm like a kid in a candy store. This place is amazing. Look at all the mugs they have. They have so many mugs, and they have they have old-time Mickey on them. These ones match Nate's sweater. You knew I was going to make a shot there. Love you, Nate. <laughs> My God. For, like, ladles to, like, rest them on on your stove. Look at the cookie jars. My God, there's so much stuff here. Tree skirts. Look at all the dishware. They have so much dishware. My God, 
I have more dishware over here. These are like big trays. You can put like nacho chips in or candy, whatever you like. Look at these for the animals. Meowy Christmas. Happy holidays. <laughs> That's so cool. Disposable hot cups, placemats. Wow. Look at these towels. These towels are really cool. Pot holders. I love this one. I like that one. Do you see any you like? My goodness. This place is amazing. Look at this for all your baking needs, too. Fun Fetty. I guess those are table covers. Yeah. They have pasta. <laughs> this aisle they have a lot of placemats in and table runners that's pretty cool and then behind me we have tablecloths i do like the one i got at boscov's though but these are nice napkins napkin rings i have a huge selection of baskets too look how many baskets they have and then they have little snowmen up on top Lots of Christmas tree skirts, too. And throw blankets. They have a lot of throw blankets in there, too. And bed sheets. Flannel bed sheets. We've hit the candy aisle already. <laughs> I imagine this isn't everything. Oh my god, they got my cookies, too. They got my cookies for $1.99. That's the same price I paid at the dollar store. Yeah, let's buy a bag. <laughs> no, I ain't gonna put them to waste. I'll eat those. Check that out. Hi there. We've popped into town to bring you more Christmas than you can imagine. So much Christmas that there's no room to show you we're much more than a holiday store. If you visit one of our year-round stores, you'll find we make decorating and celebrating fun, exciting, and incredibly affordable for every season and holiday. For now, we're thrilled to be your Christmas headquarters. Thank you for having us. Christmas Tree Shops, the unique store with a quirky name. I love it. Thank you for coming to Pittsburgh. Back here we have a lot of Christmas wrapping paper, we have Christmas bags, all the all the all the gift bags, and I got more behind me too. Much more behind me. Oh my gosh, I just kind of have to breeze through everything because they have so much in this building. And look at all the wrapping paper. Lots of wrapping paper. I see Christmas story wrapping paper. Oh my gosh, that was last year's design, but I don't even care. That's awesome that they have that. Unless some places have it this year, too. Look, more gift bags. Just like I had said. More gift bags. Over here, we have Yankee Candle Christmas candles and other brands as well. Not just Yankee Candle, but like, like this, for example. It's only $5. That's very nice and festive. Here's Yankee Candles, too. Santa's Treat Pine. I don't see my Christmas cookie one. Oh, wait cookie swap I guess that's close enough or maybe it's a new name for it the star is cute what do you think anyway let's go back here look at oh, the lanterns the amount of lanterns the purple decorations for advent that makes sense love the lanterns especially the Nate guy sweater lanterns and sleigh So we were looking at those decorations back there, but a bunch of people came into shop. So we're over in this aisle now looking at more candles. They have cinnamon candy, vanilla sugar. That one I bet would smell good. Winter forest candle holders. These are cute too. I like these ones here. All right, now going back to the back wall where we were. Look at the truck candle holders. Very unique, very cool. I like those a lot. Those are pretty sweet. They have so many more, too. Look at these ones here. You hang in here. They got snowmen. They have penguins. They have reindeer playing around. Very, very cool. More lanterns. Scented pine cones. Letters to Santa mailboxes. 
more pine cones, more lanterns. It lights up, it says. That's cool. I like that. You know, if I actually did apply for a job here just for a couple of days a week, just for the fun of it and for Christmas, my paychecks that I would get here, I will promise you, would just go right back into the store with things that I would buy. It wouldn't be hard to do because we're nowhere near done. It only gets better from here. All right, so as we go back into this part of the store, look at all the wreaths that they have. This one's gorgeous. This one's just gorgeous. Maybe you have a different opinion. Maybe you don't. Maybe there's one you like better than that one, and that's totally cool. That's totally understandable. I'm just trying to show you everything, and they just have so much. Tree ornaments. These look like the little hurricane symbol like you would see on the uh, Weather Channel back in the day. <laughs> I know, I probably don't make any sense. Excuse my Christmas cookie bag sound. Oh my gosh. All the garland. Just look at the amount of garland that they have here. Wow, wee. And they have poncettas. That's cool. And I said this in one of my other videos. Poncettas. Now, if you're thinking about getting real ones and you have kitties, reconsider getting them because poncettas are poisonous to cats. Now, if you want to have them, you can get these fake ones. And, I mean, you can get them in different styles. You can get them like that or already in potters. But get fake ones and then you don't have to worry about potentially killing your kitties or making them very, very sick anyway. So, just a little uh, PSA. Look at all the bows they have. Wow, wee. Lots of bows. Over here we have a lot of ribbon. This is interesting with the top hat on the holly or garland. Home for the holidays, believe. Wow. And over here we have a lot of ornaments. So many that I can't, I just can't go through them all, guys. I just can't. I'd love to, but I just can't do it. I'd be here all day. Check out the friendly gingerbread men. <laughs> we got some snowmen there. Gingerbread. Look at all the trees. Look at all these goofy looking trees. You have lots of little trees. As Bob Ross would say, happy little trees. There's lots of happy little trees here. Look at them all. They all got a bunch of friends. Hi, St. Nick and St. Nick and St. Nick and St. Nick and St. Nick. Mrs. Claus. Many more St. Nick's. How, how, how y'all doing? There's lots of them. Very cool. Check out all these little friends. Check out all the little friends they have here. Look at that. They're so small too. Little raccoons, snowmen, penguins. There's like a moose, a fox. Elves, a cow, it looked like. <laughs> Believe in your elf. These signs are nice. I like this one. Welcome, winter. That one's cool. Merry Christmas to all. They have big ornaments for big Christmas trees. Porcelain nativity sets. They even have that nativity set down there. Tree toppers of angels. Little bells you hang on your doorknobs. They have countdown of Christmas things. Lots of bows. Here, I'll say it, the Nate Guy bow for everybody in on that joke. And we have more bows over here. Now you've seen the bows along this back wall, but now we have tree skirts here. And we have tons of stockings. Sorry, the, the aisles are kind of narrow here, so I have to get kind of close to them. And I have you on the wide-angle lens. But we have a lot of stockings here. I like the uh, Peanuts one. The Peanut ones are cool. And they have more tree skirts here. And the base is to go around. More Peanuts. Look at all the Nutcrackers they have, too. Wow. Lots of nutcrackers, little tree baskets. Look at the friendly reindeer, all wearing little outfits. More nutcrackers, and what the heck are these, like gingerbread? Oh, they, they're like bobbleheads almost. 
and they have miniature miniature nutcrackers lots of reindeer friends look at all the penguins down here lots of penguins snowmen very cute Days until Christmas. I, we're not in December yet, but we're getting close. As of the filming of this video, we're exactly one week away from Thanksgiving. And I'm going to get this video up very soon because I was so excited to see that this opened up here, especially when Kayla pointed it out. All credit goes to Kayla for this because I wouldn't have seen it unless I specifically looked at the building. When I was filming the train video right across the street, she noticed this in the car and brought it to my attention when I got back in and wrapped up that video. So this video is all thanks to Miss Kayla. Look at the pillows up there and the wall art. I just love wall art, but I have so much. Look at the happy little wells. And they have a nativity set here too. They have more wall art over here. I like that one. That one's cool, but I like that one. The most wonderful time of the year. They have little items up there too. Check this aisle out. The houses on the left side are really cool. Let's go check them out a little bit better. They have churches too. Those are pretty nice. The detail on them is pretty good. Especially these houses down here. They light up too, they say. I don't know if we can try them or not. Let's see. Maybe we can't. I don't want to mess with them too much. But the detail work on these are pretty good. Oh, look, they got the gingerbread houses here. Picture frames. Cool. We have a little bit more artwork over here. Santa's Workshop. We have big Christmas gift sacks there. Another nativity set. Little snowmen. Little trees. And look at the animals. Look at the kitty wearing the rain or the uh, the candy canes. It's a shame they're broken though. Those are so cool. And they got a puppy. There's a kitty there too, dressed as Santa. <laughs> In this aisle, we have more bows and gift boxes, ornament sets. These are these are the shatterproof ornaments, and then they have the big ornaments for if you want to put them in a tree, like say outside, or if you just have a large tree. And they got those little things you hang on the the doorknobs. And check these ornaments out; they're like little books. I guess you could put like a gift card in there. Yeah, gift card box. You can hang it on the tree if you'd like. That's pretty cool. Over here we have more ornaments. There's more of that Christmas story wrapping paper. That's awesome. How much is it? I might grab a roll actually. It doesn't say, but if I had to make a guess, probably three bucks. But yeah, more ornaments. More angel tree toppers. Ornament sets, ornament kits, especially good for if you're starting out or if you just got a new tree and you just want something to fill it. This is perfect for that. Sorry, that crinkling is the... Uh, my favorite gingerbread cookies, which I am buying. I love these things. Check this out. They got Christmas dice, too. Drink cocoa, cuddle up, deck the halls. <laughs> if it lands on these, I guess what? You don't do anything? I don't know. Snuggle up. That's cool. Happy holidays. <laughs> they have a lot of Christmas cards. Lots of Christmas cards. Country Christmas. That's awesome. Gift tissue. Cracker and cheese sets. Maybe these for like wine. Little kits for that. 12 cocktails of Christmas. <laughs> Mixers, because in PA they can't sell actual alcohol. I wonder how much these are. I like these. I like these. Five, five bucks? I want to send some Christmas cards. I'm buying those. Oops camera out of my hand <laughs> special delivery joy to the world these decorations are beautiful especially these lanterns love those and over there we got more candles here we have more gift bags sugar plum banner noel 
bike gift bag. Look at that large gift bag. That one's huge. And look at these candy and popcorn and pretzel gifts. And more lanterns. Adorable. Absolutely adorable. More Christmas cards. They have a lot of Christmas cards. Hot sauce samplers. <laughs> Very cool. They have holiday soaps. They have holiday toilet paper. What? So you can wipe your bum with festive cheer. <laughs> Jeez. I mean, really? <laughs> I can't make this stuff up. At least with the tissues, that's a little bit better. I mean, it's just the wrapping paper on them. It's just, it's not the tissues, but this, you're actually gonna wipe your bum with holly. Oh my God. Looking towards the front of the store, you see all the gingerbread and snowmen that they have there lined up by the doorway with the gift bags. You've seen that those items when we first came in. But then in these big dump-ins, they have lots of things like gift bows. They have all kinds of gift bows, and that's only $1.99. That's not a bad deal. They have napkins, holiday napkins, table covers, tablecloth, gift tissue, gift boxes. They have little tins here for cookies or whatever you want to put in them. Look at all the pillows they have. Greetings from the North Pole. Adorable, absolutely adorable. And what are these? Here are snowmen making kits. Everything you need to make a snowman, even though here in Pittsburgh, we don't get snow really until January and February. We do get some, but usually not enough to make a snowman for Christmas. But that's cool that they have that available. So if you don't mind waiting until January or February, then you can build one and you'll have what you need in there. That would be great for a Christmas gift then, especially for the little ones. More pillows, look at all the signs in here. These signs are gorgeous, especially the one with the cardinals that say welcome on it. Lots of gift boxes, like I was saying. More napkins and gift bows. And as we get ready to head up towards the front so I can buy the items I'm getting, just showing you the ornaments that they have up here. They have more napkins, and they even have plates, actually, in these bins. $2.99. Look at this tree skirt. That, oh, that's a gift sack. That's cool. I thought that was a tree skirt. Fresh cr cut Christmas trees. But yeah, lots of ornaments. Lots of ornaments. Happy holidays. Very cute. And little gift card holders. Candy canes, little gift sets, Hershey's gift sets, Reese's, very cool, very, very cool, more gift bags, uh, wine gift bags, tins, picture frames, artwork, little trucks, and they have the North Pole radio, let's try it. Yuletide reporting live from the North Pole. The elves are positively overwhelmed by Santa's nice list this year. For the past three years, the naughty list has been trained. <laughs> the nice list has been <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> These look like miniature candy canes in there. That's cool. Never really see miniature candy canes. Geez, they even have pet waste dispenser bags. Oh my gosh. They even have Christmas ones of those. Holiday countdown from Reese's. It's a little advent calendar. Oreo. Very, very nice. More candy here. Great for stocking stuffers. Very good. Then they have some Christmas cookies. You got the Whitman sampler here. Chocolate. Oop, don't fall now. Gingerbread. And speaking of gingerbread, they have gingerbread houses here. Look at all the different types. They have Sour Patch Kids, Gingerbread Barn, Oreo, Barbie, Elf on a Shelf. They even have Crayola. Very cool. Reese's, Candyland, Gumdrops, Candy. Great for stocking stuffers, as I had mentioned. Look at that. That's cool. Got a couple things in there. Gift tray. That's cool. Make your own little gift tray with that. Very cool. And I guess on that note, I guess on that note, I will wrap it up here. 
This was awesome coming here. All right, well, we're gonna head on out of here. This place was awesome. I got my cookies and I got candy cane lights. I got a four pack of candy cane lights, similar to the ones we saw at, at home. These ones, a four pack, they're much smaller, but they were only $7.99. So yeah, I bought them so I can decorate with them. Now, before we leave, let me show you these the outside here, some of these windows. Another train's on its way. Yeah, and this window where it still says Pier 1 Imports, just like it did for Spirit Halloween, they have Santa. Santa, little tree, reindeer, happy little elves, Christmas bags, and then over here they just have boxes. Oh, look, there's a little bit of displays there. Look, they got Rudolph hiding there. I didn't know they had him hiding there. <laughs> How cool. All right, everyone. Well, that's going to wrap up our look here at the Christmas tree shop pop-up store here in Pittsburgh. Oh, it was a pop-up store. It's not a real one. It's not a permanent one, no. Aww. Sorry about the glare from the light, too. The seat belt. I got to put a rivet into the belt so it doesn't, so the buckle doesn't go all the way down at the bottom to where I have to open the door to get to it. But anyway, yeah, this is a pop-up store. It's only here for the season, and it's really funny how small of a world this is. An employee in the store knew who I was. Really? Yeah, and she said they just opened up, and uh, they're only here for the season, which I already figured, because if you've ever been to a Christmas tree shop or seen our one from Erie from last year or whatever, and you know that they're huge and they have a lot more than just christmas stuff they have everything for every season they have everything in that store basically so it's not just a christmas store and off topic boy did that car do a horrible job of trying to back into that parking spot here let me flip the camera around so you can see they're trying i'll give them that they're trying Good. you're almost in the lines you're still not okay kind of like now way to the right way way to the right yeah and if someone wanted that end parking spot they'd be smashed up against the wall all right enough about them i give them a c minus for effort about a d plus a d plus yeah if you're going to back and know how to do it right like we do but anyway <laughs> mean i'm just, yeah i'm just being mean but anyway yeah, so shout out to uh, our friend that spotted us in the store there and recognized us. I thought that was funny. And uh, hey, you know, I just I love this store. And I'm serious. I might actually apply here just to work a couple of nights a week just for fun. Even though I know you work retail. I've done it for six years. And let me tell you, the only reason I would work in here too, not just for the fun of it, but because I know my paychecks would go right back into that store when I buy Christmas stuff. That's why I <laughs> could never work in a place I actually like, like. Because you'll spend... We've actually heard this from ba uh, from Bath and Body Works employees where they spend their check in the store. They get their paycheck from working there and then they spend it in the store, which isn't hard to do, I guess. No. <laughs> so, anyway, we're taking off. This store is awesome. I'm really glad we were able to stop here and check it out. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, you know what to do. So make sure you give the video a like. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to the channel for more content. And take care and stay awesome. And have a Christmas tree shop. Let's just stay. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye, everyone. By the way, even though we already wrapped the video up and we're heading home, Christmas tree shops, if you're seeing this video, why don't you have a location in Pittsburgh, a permanent one? While we don't mind going to Erie and going to the one right up there by the Mill Creek Mall, I love that store. I love going there, obviously. It's just not convenient. Yeah, you know? it's an hour and a half away. If there was one in, like, anywhere in Pittsburgh, Monroeville, Robinson, Cranberry, you know, even the North Hills, like, there's a good, pl a good place for you guys. They, you guys can move up to McIntyre Square or something. Yeah, the Office Max is now abandoned. There's a space there. I don't know if it would be large enough, but there's a space there. Yeah. Um, Robinson, we got plenty of room out there. The site of the old Super Kmart out there is just a parking lot. You could build a brand new store there and make it as large as you want. But just saying, come to Pittsburgh, open up a store here. You know, I'd be a happy camper and a steady customer there, especially for your Christmas goodies. But I do love the fact that you put up a pop-up store. Thank you very much for doing that. But open up a full line store here, a permanent year round one. That would be awesome. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, that's just my two cents. Thank you, Christmas Tree Shops.
I love you guys. Stay awesome. Bye, everyone. Bye.